Do you think I should have told Pete and Ross not to say anything? About what? Matty. Not until he's ready to face everybody. It seems ready to me. Just don't overthink it. Well, what's that supposed to mean? Well, oh. take after Adam. He likes to lie him. <laughs> yeah. I like my sleep too, but now we've been playing with my little bro. Oh, wait. I didn't know he'd woken up. Yeah, we've been reading. Don't let the pigeon drive the bus. We've agreed it's a bad idea to let him. <laughs> <laughs> Come here. Okay. Ooh, morning, you. Morning, you two. Right. Do that. Hi, darling. You know, if you wanted to stay a bit longer, we could always fix your room up. Okay, ta. Um, any chance of a lift to the supermarket? Just need some bits and toiletries and that. Well, what's wrong with the village shop? Hmm. I just thought it might be easier, you know, until you're ready to face everybody. Well, I'm ready if you are. Yeah. We'll go get dressed and we'll go to David's. OK. Tell Sarah, anyway. Oh, she's had a little out of the room. Risk of infection. She's dead bored. Send him along for you. Yeah, of course I will. And mine, too. Oh, I, I was going to suggest I went round to see her. I mean, what do you think? Oh, I'll ask, but... Gaines told me to keep people at a distance. <laughs> Give them a chance to adjust before folks stick their noses in, is what he said. I don't know how I'd handle it. If it were Jacob or Amber. I agree. It's a tragedy. And do you know what the real tragedy is? All of you with your tongues wagging like a bunch of fishwives at the market. How can I be a fishwife and block? You think judging people is a one-way thing? Mom. Because if I wanted to, I could get personal with a lot of you too. Mom. I am over the moon that my son has come back home. So I don't know where Cain got the idea that you've to stay away. We were talking about Sari. It's OK. Yep. I've got this one, Mum. Hi, everyone. I'm back. David should remember me. Used to work here. In another life. No, sorry, I don't. Yeah, that's because um, you probably knew me as Hannah, but uh, just call me Matty. Oh, um, hi, Matty. Well, you're a lot better looking than your brother. <laughs> oh, come here, love, give me a hug. Oh. Yeah, I know I called him love, I call everybody love, I mean nothing by it. Oh, don't worry. I don't jump to conclusions. So, let me get this straight. Yeah. Little Hannah, the mouse in any room, she's a fellow now. Yes, and a handsome one at that. Who's this we're talking about? Morris, lad, Matty. Pearl's just saying what a handsome chap he is. Right. Handsome as me, is he? Will you hit me if I'm honest and say you're not my type? Too tall. Well, you're certainly my type. <laughs> that makes you feel any better. I didn't know you could cook. Well, uh, maybe I'm a cooking kind of guy. It's all part of me discovering new sides of myself. Mm, must be nice to be surprised by yourself. <laughs> Says you. I know you like this kind of music. Mm. Oh, smells nice. So do you. I love the stench of engine oil. Come here. <laughs> Pearl said something about you. Words in the shop? Oh, yeah. Bit of a misunderstanding. It's all sorted now. Ah, good. Hey, scrum like this. We're sorry to see you go. <laughs> mm, definitely. And not just because of the food. Well, uh, I'm not going yet. Thought I might hang around a bit longer. That'd be nice. Come on, then. <laughs> <laughs> 